I'm Marisa Christian with Ivy Times TV. We are about to scour the floor at New York Comic Con to get the latest scoop on your favorite comics. I'm with Thor from Midtown Comics on the floor at New York Comic Con. Now, your name is actually Thor. It really is, really uh, Thor. You know, my parents just wanted me to stand out, and here I am standing out. Any chance they're comic book fans? Uh, my dad, he's a bit of a comic book fan, yeah. Uh, at least he was back in the day. But, uh, you know, I think the name suits me well working uh, in this industry. It's, it is perfect. Now, everybody knows Midtown Comics is huge for comic book lovers in New York City. It's the be-all, end-all. We're going to play a little game. Okay. I'm going to give you a big name. All you have to do is tell me kind of what's new and exciting with them. Right. That's easy. Easy. Very easy. We'll start with a big softball. Marvel. Marvel Now. Uh, Uncanny Avengers just came out this week. Uh, Midtown Comics has an exclusive cover uh, for Uncanny Avengers number one. Um, they're shuffling everything around. It's exciting. Teams are being reformed, the X-Men, the Avengers. It's very fun. Uh, so Marvel Now. Now DC Comics. Batman, Death of the Family. Scott Snyder, who has been just destroying Batman in the best way possible uh, with his Court of Owls storyline, just started up this new one where the Joker is coming back. He's been gone for a while, like he's got his face cut off and now he's wearing his own face like a mask. It's going to be a pretty big crossover going into a few different titles. Batman's the best-selling book, and he's, uh, Scott Snyder just really does a great job with it, and it's really exciting-looking uh, storyline. I'm with Dan, the man behind DC Comics. Now, Batman is making lots of news. Why? Oh, well, we're doing a big storyline right now called Death of the Family, which is the reintroduction of the Joker to the Batman storytelling. We showed that the Joker cut off his face at the start of the New 52, and now he's kind of back, coming back, and he's creating all sorts of havoc for the Batman family itself. Uh, but that's not about it for it. That's in Batman and Superman. Uh, we have some brand new teams on it and a new direction for the series, but also we just announced uh, that Jim Lee and Scott Snyder are going to be doing a brand new Batman, a brand new Superman series next year. So that's a big news for us too. And then we have a brand new Justice League of America book coming next year as well. So all of our key franchises are really getting a, a nice big shot in the arm and couldn't be more excited. Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Hellboy. Hellboy in Hell. This is one's my favorite. Mike Mignola's Hellboy is one of the best uh, books out there. Um, I hate to ruin it for you if you didn't know, but uh, about a year or so back, Hellboy got killed. And what happens when a guy named Hellboy dies, he's going to go to hell. And all those demons he's been battling for so many years are very mad at him, and he's going to have a hard time. I'm with Mike Richardson, the man behind Dark Horse. What's new for Dark Horse? Uh, for Dark Horse, well, right there you see an amazing book behind you, 47 Ronin, that's coming out, uh, uh, illustrated by internationally famous Stan Sakai and uh, written by the guy behind Dark Horse, me. So <laughs> you asked me, obviously I'm going to plug that. But we have uh, some great new projects. We're launching some new uh, superhero books like uh, Captain Midnight, a character out of the 40s and 50s. We have uh, a new Star Wars projects, new Hellboy project, uh, and some new license material, lots of new stuff. And last but not least, what is up with Midtown Comics? Oh, that's easy. Midtown Comics, you know, uh, we've got three stores in the city, uh, in New York City. We just opened up a new boutique in the FAO Schwartz on Fifth Avenue. So we're getting comics in the hands of kids that might not be coming into a normal comic That's perfect. Yeah. And, you know, this weekend we just got a lot of signings. We've got uh, Thor from Madame Tussauds here. Um, you know, everything. We YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those things where you can be friends with us. We love to be friends with you too. So, you know, you definitely check us out that way. Digital content is all the rage at New York Comic Con. And from what I heard, it isn't trying to replace traditional print methods. In fact, it's helping boost sales, both in print and online. Our stance is we want you to get the stories. So <laughs> if you want to read it digitally, that's awesome. If you buy the print, we'll give you the digital as well. If you know, We'll give you behind the scenes with digital. Um, we just like to experiment and find new ways to get the stories to people. There's a lot of buzz about digital here on the floor at Comic-Con this year. Do you think it's the future of comics? How? What are your thoughts? Uh, me, I think it's a, it's a, it, it, it's supplemental to what we do in comics. You know, we've been talking about this in several ways, and we've been tracking the digital very closely. And 
one thing we say is that comic sales are up by about 20% from last year. And we're also doing very well in our digital market too. So the fact that we show digital growing and that we're able to grow our print business at the same time says that it, it, both of them are really supplementing each other and helping each other more so than cannibalizing each other. The amazing thing about digital is that uh, in the year 2016 there's going to be about uh, 1 billion uh, tablets in the hands of consumers. So if we could get 10% of that 1 billion uh, to or 1% of that 1 billion, that's 10 times the existing comics market. In fact, if you get 10% of that 1%, that doubles our market. So suddenly, uh, with digital, comics are in front of people again, uh, and we're finding out many people thought that digital would be the end of paper, but what we're actually finding out is that as digital grows, the comic sales have grown with them. So uh, I think that uh, digital is probably the best thing that's happened to the, the paper versions.